Hungary's kitchens are on fire. The heat is on and the stakes have never been higher. In the heart of Europe, where culinary traditions run deep, a new kind of battle is taking place. This is not just any kitchen. This is the arena where dreams are made and broken, where the best of the best come to prove their worth. Sifek Sife, the country's hottest cooking show, is back. This isn't just a show, it's a phenomenon. Every season, it captures the imagination of food lovers and aspiring chefs alike. The anticipation builds as the contestants prepare to showcase their skills, hoping to impress the judges and the audience. It's a battle royale of culinary titans. Each chef brings their unique style, their personal flair, and their regional specialties to the table. The competition is fierce, and the kitchen is a battlefield where only the strongest survive. Every dish is a testament to their dedication and hard work. This year, the competition was fiercer, the stakes higher. The chefs knew that one mistake could cost them the title. The pressure was palpable, and the tension in the air was thick. Every chop, every stir, every plating was done with precision and care. The margin for error was razor thin. Chefs from across Hungary came to prove their mettle. From the bustling streets of Budapest to the serene countryside, they brought with them a rich tapestry of flavors and techniques. Each one had a story to tell, a journey that led them to this moment. They were not just cooking, they were sharing a piece of their soul. They were hungry for victory. The desire to win was evident in their eyes, in their movements, in the way they approached each challenge. They knew that this was their chance to shine, to make a name for themselves in the culinary world. The competition was not just about the title, it was about proving to themselves and to the world that they had what it takes. Only one could claim the title of chef's champion. The journey was long and arduous, filled with highs and lows, triumphs and setbacks. But in the end, it all came down to this moment. The winner stood tall, holding the trophy high, a symbol of their hard work, determination, and culinary excellence. The judges, culinary legends in their own right, watched every move. They tasted every bite. No mistake went unnoticed. The pressure was on. These judges were not just looking for good food, they were looking for greatness. They wanted to see innovation, creativity, and a deep understanding of flavors. Their feedback was invaluable, guiding the chefs to push their boundaries and reach new heights. This wasn't just about cooking, it was about passion, creativity, and sheer willpower. The chefs poured their hearts into every dish, showcasing their skills and their love for the craft. It was a celebration of culinary artistry, a testament to the power of food to bring people together, to inspire, and to create lasting memories. In the end, it was not just a competition, it was a journey of self-discovery, a testament to the human spirit, and a celebration of the rich culinary heritage of Hungary. Leading the charge was Chef Vomberg Frigius, a culinary general with a team of warriors. His leadership was not just about giving orders, it was about inspiring his team to reach new heights. Every instruction he gave was a lesson in precision, creativity, and passion. He was more than a chef, he was a mentor, a guide, and a beacon of excellence in the culinary world. His contestants were not just cooks, they were artists, innovators, storytellers on a plate. Each dish they created was a masterpiece, a blend of flavors and textures that told a story. They pushed the boundaries of traditional cooking, experimenting with new techniques and ingredients to create something truly unique. Their plates were canvases, and their ingredients were the paint with which they crafted their culinary art. Among them was Santo Zabolks, a young chef with fire in his eyes and a hunger to learn. Zabolks was not just any young chef, he was a prodigy, a rising star in the culinary world. His determination was evident in every move he made, every dish he prepared. He was always eager to learn, to absorb every bit of knowledge and skill that Chef Vomberg had to offer. His passion for cooking was palpable, and it drove him to constantly improve and innovate. Week after week, they faced grueling challenges. The competition was fierce and the pressure was immense. Each challenge tested their skills, their creativity, and their ability to work under pressure. They had to think on their feet, adapt to unexpected situations, and deliver their best performance every single time. The kitchen was a battlefield, and they were warriors fighting for victory. They battled fatigue, self-doubt, and the ever-present ticking clock. The long hours and intense pressure took a toll on their bodies and minds. There were moments of doubt, moments when they questioned their abilities and wondered if they could keep going. But they pushed through, 
driven by their passion for cooking and their desire to succeed. The ticking clock was a constant reminder of the limited time they had to create something extraordinary. But through it all, Vomberg's guidance was their compass, his encouragement their fuel. He was always there, offering advice, providing support and pushing them to be their best. His belief in their abilities gave them the confidence to keep going, even when the going got tough. He was not just a leader, he was a source of inspiration and motivation for the entire team. They learned to work as a team, to trust their instincts and to push their limits. The competition brought them closer together, forging bonds of friendship and camaraderie. They learned to rely on each other, to support each other and to celebrate each other's successes. They pushed their limits, constantly striving to improve and innovate. Together they created something truly extraordinary, a testament to their hard work, dedication and passion for cooking. One challenge stood out, the dreaded sea spider. This grotesque alien-looking creature struck fear in the hearts of even the most seasoned chefs, but not Zabulks. He saw it as an opportunity. He embraced the unfamiliar, transforming the intimidating ingredient into a dish that surprised and delighted the judges. It was a turning point, a testament to his culinary daring and his ability to thrive under pressure. The finale arrived, a culinary crescendo. Only three chefs remained, each tasked with creating a three-course masterpiece. The tension was palpable. The air crackled with anticipation. Zabolks poured his heart and soul into his dishes. Each plate was a reflection of his journey, his growth, his passion for Hungarian cuisine. The judges watched, tasted, deliberated. The fate of the contestants hung in the balance. I wanted to showcase the soul of Hungarian food, to honor the traditions but also push the boundaries, to show the world what we're capable of. Zabolx shared these words, his voice filled with emotion. His words resonated with the judges and the audience alike. It wasn't just about winning, it was about passion, dedication, and a deep love for the art of cooking. The moment of truth arrived. Ordog Nora, the show's charismatic host, stepped forward, her eyes twinkling. The silence in the room was deafening. The winner of Safex Cefe and Hungary's Next Chef's Champion is Santo Sabolc. The kitchen erupted in cheers. Zabolx, overcome with emotion, felt the weight of his hard work and dedication finally paying off. The journey had been long and arduous, filled with countless hours of practice, experimentation, and perseverance. With a triumphant smile, he raised his arms in victory. This moment was a testament to his relentless pursuit of excellence and his unwavering passion for the culinary arts. This was just the beginning. Sabolks knew that this victory was not an endpoint, but a stepping stone to greater achievements. He envisioned a future where his culinary creations would inspire and delight people from all walks of life. His win was not just a personal triumph. It was a launch pad for a future filled with possibilities. The trophy he held was a symbol of his potential and the endless opportunities that lay ahead. It was a launch pad for a future filled with possibilities. Zebolks could see a horizon brimming with new challenges and exciting ventures. He was ready to embrace them all with open arms and an open heart. I plan to open my own restaurant, mentor young chefs, and create a space where culinary innovation can thrive. I want to share my knowledge and experiences with the next generation of chefs helping them to find their own paths in this incredible industry and use my platform to give back to my community. It's important to me to stay connected to my roots and to support the people who have supported me throughout my journey. I want to use my success to make a positive impact and to inspire others to follow their dreams. His passion was contagious, his vision clear. Zabox's dedication to his craft and his desire to uplift others made him a beacon of hope and inspiration in the culinary world. His journey was a testament to the power of hard work, determination, and a love for what you do. Zabolks was ready to take the culinary world by storm. With his talent, vision, and unwavering commitment, there was no doubt that he would leave an indelible mark on the industry. The future was bright, and Zabolks was poised to shine even brighter. What did you think of this season's fiery showdown? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Who were your favorite contestants? What culinary feats left you speechless? Let's keep the conversation going. And tell us, 
Which culinary heroes would you like to see featured in future seasons of Cefex Cafe? Cefex Cafe is more than just a cooking show. It's a celebration of Hungarian cuisine, a testament to the power of passion and perseverance. Szabolcs's victory is an inspiration to aspiring chefs everywhere, a reminder that with hard work, dedication, and a sprinkle of culinary magic, anything is possible.